Hey everyone, it's Miss Jess here for Crafty Crew. Sorry for the delay, but gotta love the holidays and the schedule change. Today we're doing the canvas um, art, and I just love the simple art of this. Um, and you can do this however you want to. If it goes with a certain theme of your kitchen, bedroom, guest bedroom, bathroom, whatever you want to put it. Uh, I just made a cute little coffee pot, I mean coffee cup. If you haven't realized, I like tea and coffee. I didn't realize I was doing a theme there. But hey, that's the part of creating things, right? So in the craft and, or in the kits, if you got them, I'll go over the supplies. If you want to do this at home, supplies are super easy. What you'll want and what you'll get is a canvas. And you want one with a frame um, because we'll be going, we'll be actually sewing through the canvas. So we'll prop this up here so you can see the end result. So a canvas, any size, this is I believe 18 or eight and a half by 10. I have some samples of templates that you can use or you can do your own. Um, embroidering floss or any kind of skinny string that you have. A needle, um, a push pin or a nail. Paint, um, tape, brush, of course, and scissors. So, in your your embroidering floss will look look like this in the store, um, but in the kits you'll receive them like so. So we're gonna take this over here, and the magic of trying to do this quickly. Already painted. Um, a little bit on here and all I did was figure out where I was going to put the lines, use washing tape or whatever tape you have. And it doesn't take that long to dry. I'm going to peel it off. So if you don't want to do paint, you don't have to. I did, but it's yours. And whenever you're remembering how big it is, you have to keep in factor the mind or keep in mind of how large your frame is. So I'm going to actually go with this one. For those who don't know, I lost, we lost one of our puppies this year. So I kind of want to make this in memory of him. So I just cut this down, kind of center it in however you would like. And guess what? The best part is you don't have to trace it. All you have to do is grab your uh, push pin or your uh, any kind of pin and poke through. And I'm doing about every quarter of an inch or so. And this way the design is transferred over and you have the pre-holes done. So it makes doing your back stitch a lot easier. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. Um, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. So I'm just going around. And like I said, if you want to make your own design, please go ahead. And I just typed in simple one lined art. That's the kind of art that this reminds me of. I'm just poking, going along. And you can do two colors if you want, of the paint, um, or the embroidered gloss is your choice. This does get repetitive. Yeah, repetitive though. Just bear with me just for a couple more stabs. And if you accidentally go a little crazy, just kind of make it into a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. I 
I would not do this on your lap, just so in case you don't accidentally poke yourself. All right, so we got that all poked the holes, and then there's our pattern. Easy peasy, just the way that I like it. And now I'm going to grab my embroidery floss, and you can go as many strings as you would like. I like the bold, so I'm going to go with um, all five strings. I'm trying not to lose my needle. And you can make this as elaborate or as simple as you want to. And of course, I'm going to start. And the best thing is you can use your paper as a guideline. So I'm going to start right here by the heart. So starting it does kind of have to think where you're at. So I'm just going to stab and come up. I have a knot already there, and I'm just going to go around and go to the next pit, or hole. Or if I didn't like that hole, I'm going to go in between there. Gently pull it back and go through the last one. That's how you do a back stitch. And you'll just keep going around and around until you're done with this. Um, I did have two colors because I wanted to contrast, but you don't have to do that and just tie it up in the back um, you can put like another piece of fleece or felt on the back to con or kind of hide all the ickies down there or on the back and just hang it up like that and that's it my friends i hope you guys have a wonderful happy holidays and we'll see you guys next year bye for now